Today's Live in the D is sponsored in part by Andre Ryu. He's been dubbed the king of the waltz and has toured the world with his personal orchestra. Now he's bringing his show to the States and making a stop in Detroit later this year in September. Joining us now from Amsterdam is Andre Ryu, the king of the waltz himself. Good morning or good afternoon. Where are you? Uh, good afternoon. Here it's afternoon, yeah. Tati, and uh, with you it's the morning, I think, and I'm not in Amsterdam, but ah. in Maastricht, my city where I live. I love that. I love that. Well, we're happy to have you here in the morning with us. But I have to ask you, now the Wall Street Journal has said, move over Rolling Stones. Andre Ryu puts on the biggest show on earth. Describe what your concerts are like for those who have never been to one. So I'm when you go to a classical concert, uh, the people look uh, in the program who's coming, what symphony. But in my case, the people don't know at all what I'm going to do, but they know when you go to a concert of Andre, you will have an evening you will never forget. Well, I'm looking at the footage and it looks very exciting and very festive. So I have to ask you this though, what is it about classical music that has made it stand the test of time for centuries? I think because it comes from the heart, mm -hmm. at least as the way I played with my orchestra, uh, we, we really play the music with our heart and therefore uh, the people can see when I'm nervous or, not, or I'm glad, you know, that is, that is uh, so exciting. And it's about, my concerts are all about the, um, the interaction with the audience. That's why I come to the States. Okay, yeah, we love that in the States, so this is going to be great. Um, now, you have your own orchestra, meaning you employ them and they travel with you. It is, in fact, the largest privately owned orchestra in the world. Now, does that lead to a stronger connection with them and the music when you play? I think so, yes, because uh, they know I'm their boss, and so, <laughs> no, that's, that's not the case, but... I, I was in a so-called classical orchestra myself, and all my colleagues around me, nobody spoke about music. They all mm. spoke about, it's too cold, it's too hot, I want more money, when is the next holiday, I have to work too hard. And then Marjorie, my wife, she saw me coming home every day more unhappy, and she said, you know, Andre, you are going to follow your dream, and I know your dream is to have your own orchestra of people who play with their heart. And that's what I did. So I'm very grateful to Marjorie, my wife, because this story is now 35 years ago. That's amazing. That's great advice from your wife, indeed. Now, I have to ask you, do you have a favorite composition? A favorite composition? Yeah, OK. I will answer you this question because all journalists ask that question. <laughs> I think because I'm the king of the walls and my orchestra is named the Johann Schwarz Orchestra, it must be the Blue Danube. OK, OK. So what do you enjoy the most about playing in the States? Oh, the audience, the audience everywhere where I come. Uh, when I come back from the States, I say, oh, my God, this audience in the States, they are so hungry. They drive thousand miles in a car to come to my concert. And for them, it's nothing. Here in Europe, we are not used to that sort of distances. And, and in the States, it, the audience is so fantastic because, you know, they sit like that in the beginning and they say, OK, show me what you can. And then after 10 minutes after and after the break, they get loose and they say, oh, my God, that is fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Andre, for taking the time to talk with us today. OK, thank you, Tati. Bye bye. Bye bye. If you want to see Andre Ryu when he comes to Detroit, tickets are on sale now for his concert on September 13th. And you can also get his new DVD, Happy Days Are Here Again. Both are available at his website, andreryu.com. That's andreryu.com, and it's spelled R-I-E-U.